All right, welcome back. Next, we're gonna tackle our form up here to submit the palette name, as well as to eventually choose an emoji. So what we're going to do is move it to its own component so that we can create this pop-up and we can, let's go with chicken nuggets as our palette name, <laughs> and then we can choose an emoji. So we have this multi-stage form that is all happening in modals and it pops up and yeah, that's pretty much it. So instead of doing it all in our component that we already have for the palette nav, we're going to make a separate component. Uh, I'm not sure what makes the most sense to name it, but I originally called it was the palette meta form, like the meta uh, details about a palette, the name, the emoji. So I think that's what I'm gonna go with, but maybe there's a better option. Anyway, what we're going to do is refactor the code from our form, the nav component, where we have the validator form here, all of this stuff, we're going to move it into a pop-up. But we need to manage the state of you know, when it's open, when it's closed, if we're showing this part of the form where you pick the name, or if we're showing the part where you choose the emoji. So to help us, we're gonna use Material UI, another component we haven't seen, which is called a dialog. So if you go to Component Demos, Dialogues, you can see here are some simple examples of dialogues. Keep going down, we can do a form dialog. That's what we're gonna start with. So we have two buttons that don't do anything in this case except close the dialog. But if we look at how it works, aside from all the imports we need, dialog, dialog, actions, content, content text, title, what we have is a piece of state called open or something, dialog open, uh, form open, it's up to us. We have two event handlers that change dialog open to true or false, and then we create the dialog here. So what I'm gonna do is make a brand new component instead of source, we'll call it palette meta form.js, and I'm gonna make it a class-based component, export palette meta form, and for now, I'm gonna leave it unchanged. I'm gonna copy all of these imports from this example. Then I'm just gonna copy the code over and put it right here. I think it includes render. Okay, so we have our state. I'm gonna choose to use a constructor for this, um, but if you prefer, just use this option. Define state like this, define your event handlers using class properties, arrow functions. Okay, so right now we have something that should show up if we render it. So let's export it, which we're already doing. Let's go to our palette form nav and import it. So import palette meta form from dot slash palette meta form. Then we'll come down. Um, where should we do this? Let's comment out the buttons that we have for or the validator form and then add in a palette meta form. There we go. So let's see what we get. We have a button, open form dialog, and it opens our form dialog. So that's close enough to what we're looking for. That's working. What we're going to do now is move some of our code over from this validator form into that component. So I'm gonna cut it out instead of copying it. Come to my palette meta form, and where we have the form itself is right here. We have a text field. So I'm going to paste this in. Instead of a text field, we will use the text validator inside of validator form. Now it's not gonna work right away. Obviously we don't have the state, this dot state dot new palette name. We don't have handle change. You can see we also have some issues with our imports. So let's start by copying the imports we need over. The things we need for sure are validator form and text validator. Come over here. I'm also going to move the component did mount where we register our validator form or the, out, the add validation rule. I'm gonna move that over here. I'm going to add my constructor and then define state in here and have open set to false. Get rid of that, save. I'm also going to add in handle change. Come over here. I'll do it after componented mount and I'll bind it here. The other thing we need in our state is new palette name. We're using this 
as part of the form. So I'm gonna put that in here. Okay, so let's see what we get now. New palette name is not defined. Line 62, uh, same thing. What I did here was grab new palette name from the state. So we'll come into our render and grab it. And that should do it for us. I can change this to be new palette name. I forgot to do that earlier. Now we have our button here. I click. Our form needs some work. We have this button to save. We also have cancel and subscribe, which we don't need. I start typing. It breaks because it's, it's running our validation rule and it says cannot read property every of undefined. This.props.palettes doesn't exist. What we need to do, we're passing it down from palette form nav, nav palettes equals palettes. Then we get to our palette form nav and we are rendering palette meta form. And we're gonna do the same thing, palettes equals palettes. Now it's part of the props. So we need to make sure we grab it from the props. Now we try again, I start typing. Okay, now it's working. Let's test if it actually validates the palette name. So material UI colors, that's already used. Perfect. Okay, next up, let's figure out what happens when I submit. I give this a name, save, nothing happens. Well, what is it calling inside of palette metaform? On submit, this.props.handle submit. But we didn't pass down handle submit. We passed it from new palette form right here down into palette form nav right here. We had the form in here originally, now we don't. So we need to pass it down again. So I'm gonna grab handle submit out of the props and then where we're rendering the, the palette meta form right here, we'll pass down handle submit equals handle submit, which I just grabbed out of the props. Let's see what happens now. So open the dialog, give it a name, dog save palette there we go and here's our new palette okay so that is working it's hideous but we have the dialogue showing up so i'm going to commit we'll worry about styling it in the next video so git commit and this one will be add mm, palette metaform and dialogue okay